Okay, in this video we're going to talk about we're still looking at parametric equations and we're going to look at example 4 in our unit 11 notes. We're not going to graph these in our calculator, but we are going to sketch the graph clearly indicating the orientation for t greater than or equal to pi over 2. So again, I've got my unit circle down here so that we can see what's going on. So I'm going to create a table of values here. greater than or equal to pi over two. So I'm gonna start right here, and I am going to go this way. So the next value would be pi, and then three pi over two, and then two pi, and that would bring us back to here. So we'll just stop right there. Okay, so the x value, uh, remember the x values are going to be the cosine values here. Remember that? All right, and then, um, and so we'll just go through here. So for the x values, I've got four minus two times cosine t. So at pi over two, the cosine value is zero. So four plus zero is four. And then at pi, I've got four plus two times negative one. So four minus two, which is two. And then at 3 pi over 2, I've got 0, so um, that would give me another 4. And then at 2 pi, it's 1, so 4 plus 2 would give me 6. All right, now what I'm going to do is find the y values. So again, let me switch colors. So now I'm interested in the y values here. Okay. So y equals negative one times sine of t. So at pi over two, again, we're starting here, okay, because that's what the problem tells us to do. So at pi over two, uh, the sine value is one. So that gives me negative one plus one. So that's a zero. And then at pi, it's zero. So negative one plus zero is just negative one. At three pi over two, it's negative one. Okay, why isn't this working? So it's negative one. So negative one plus a negative one is zero. I don't know why it wasn't working. Okay, and then at uh, two pi, the sign is zero. So negative one plus zero is negative one. So I'm gonna graph my ordered pairs. So at four zero, that is my initial point. Okay, and then at two, negative one, right there. At four, zero. That doesn't make any sense. Hold on just a second. Did I do that right? I don't think I did. At three pi over two, we've got a negative one here. So negative one plus a negative one. God, I can't add, it's so sad. Kids, I'm so sorry. I'm so over this. Okay, wow, that's just, that's scary. Okay, so negative one minus one is negative two. I swear. See, I shouldn't ever do this when I'm tired. It's ridiculous. Okay, and then here it's at negative one. Okay, everything's fine, don't get up. All right, so this is an ellipse again, and notice we're moving in the counterclockwise direction again. Okay, so that is what my graph would look like. Now I've got to write my rectangular equation. So I'm gonna isolate cosine t, so that means x minus four divided by two equals cosine t, and y plus one equals sine t, and then we're going to use our identity again, our identity value shows me that this is true. So I've got x minus four squared over four, which is two squared, plus y plus one squared over one. There you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy.